Today I'm out here on the south side of my house where I'm going to be starting my vegetable garden for this year. So this is the space, again, south side of my house. This is kind of what I call the ugly side of my house with all of the AC unit, all of the different meters and cable hooked up. But this is a great location for my very small raised garden beds. I made all of these beds myself. It's very simple. Well, except for this one. My brother got me started making a four by four foot bed and then I kind of replicated it. This one is a little bit narrower just so it could fit in this space. And I recently went through and leveled them and tried to make them pretty even with each other. They do settle over time. It's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty good and they definitely do the job. So you can see we have some strawberries from last year and they're already so much happier. I recently transplanted them, filled all of my garden beds with soil and compost, and I can already tell that these guys are way happier. So this bed is going to be just solid strawberries. I have two more to plant today and then I'm going to save some space to hopefully get some different varieties toward the back. So my hope here is just to have a garden bed kind of brimming over with strawberries. For this bed, this is right next to my strawberries. Um, this is going to be my salsa garden. So I'm going to have tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, peppers, and then onions, and then hopefully some herbs up here if I still have room. Um, so I have my little tray of goodies. I have seed potatoes, my label maker, um, scissors, a few seed packets, and so forth. This bed I think is going to be kind of geared more toward lettuce. I am going to do a few more tomatoes back here um, and then just lettuce, peas. Uh, we have our trusty chive plant that we've already been picking on for some baked potatoes. Okay and then this guy down here I think I'm going to do potatoes, cucumbers, um, maybe carrots and cabbage here. Um, and then the goal here, you can see my little lettuces. I, I put them here because it was a little breezy. Um, <laughs> and then my goal here is to get some sort of trellis and make a nice arch. So I have peas here, cucumbers here, and hopefully they both kind of climb and meet each other in a way that is very pleasing to the eye. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, and this is my gardening journal kind of thing I started and it's been really helpful. I keep making notes. I've made several drafts and made changes as I realized I had kind of incompatible things next to each other. I'm sure I still have some mistakes in there, but that is okay. So I'm not planting everything today. There are some things that I need to wait until May. Um, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, things like that. Probably a lot of herbs. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the first round planted. So as you saw yesterday, I spent the day filling in each garden bed with more soil. And I just used a raised garden mix from Lowe's along with some compost and some organic fertilizer and just mixed it all really well and just kind of evened it out. It was really fun. Real quick before I start planning, let me show you just kind of how my drip line is set up. I didn't go through and hook anything up just yet. I'll probably wait a bit on that just so it gets warmer. I like to work with drip tubing when it's warm out because it's a little more flexible, easy to work with. So let me show you just kind of how my system is set up. Okay, pardon the mess. Um, I do have some tubing. This is soaker hose that um, is from last year. 
and you can see it just kind of trails down here and then I have it connected to this half inch line that just runs back here behind all of the beds. So what I did when I put these new raised garden beds in, this is just a lazy little, not lazy, just a quick little way to get it ready and accessible is I took a quarter inch strip tube like this. It's the solid tubing, no holes. And I just ran it through uh, before I filled it with soil and made a little trench down here and then just had one end long enough so that I can just punch right in when I'm ready to connect to this half inch line. And it's just really easy. Up here, I'm not sure what kind of emitters I'm gonna use just yet. I think I'll do um, the kind with holes every six inches and just kind of weave it back and forth, making sure each plant has water. These two beds already had drip tubing from last year. And so what I did is I just flopped them out, pulled them out so that I could add more soil and kind of level it. Um, so they're just sitting there. I might use the same stuff. Uh, that soaker hose this year or I'm thinking I'll probably replace it and use some nice fresh quarter inch. It just kind of depends on what the plants look like. I like the idea of kind of weaving it back and forth and just getting a nice even saturation. Okay so that half inch tube continues right around here. I actually did a little mini trench and kind of tried to bury it. I need to do a little bit better job. You can see it right here. Um, I want it accessible but hopefully not super obvious. Okay, and this is our other new garden bed. So I did the same quick little thing where I just ran a quarter inch solid tubing and ran it through, filled the soil, and made sure I had a nice little trench for it to come out. Okay, and again, that half inch main drip line goes right over here, curves around. This is where I buried it. You can see this part here, um, but it keeps coming right around here. And so my access for this uh, tubing, it'll connect right about here. Okay, just like that. And then this guy just keeps going. I have to show you what I did last year because at first I thought I was crazy, but this ended up being <laughs> one of my better drip lines. So the line continues here. And then you can see I tapped in right here last year with a little quarter inch. And what I did, I ran it right here, up the rain gutter, whoop, and up to my balcony. And it goes all the way from here, all the way across because I have a pot there and I have a pot there and it was my best line. I actually questioned if I overdid it a little bit but it worked really well so hey. Okay so for my lettuce bed I have some really nice butter crunch lettuce, I have some red romaine, and then I have some spinach. Um, I want to save a spot for hopefully some arugula. I couldn't find any of that. We have our chive, and then I think I'm going to do uh, carrots here. And I have some seeds for that. So as for seeds, what I have, I think this is so pretty. I don't really eat cabbage, but I think it's so pretty to grow. So I have this really pretty uh, purple cabbage. That is gonna go in the far bed down there. And then with that, I think I'm going to do some radishes. I need to check my diagram. Um, and see if that's where they go. And then here's our carrots and <laughs> peas. Now, I started questioning if it was a little too late for me to plant these, but according to the map, and you can see I'm Washington State, I'm right where, <laughs> it's too small, but I'm right on the line of the yellow and the green yellow and green february through april january through march i'll take it um so we'll see might as well go for it and with carrots let's see i am in the yellow march through april okay so i think we're good to go i also picked up a few seed potatoes i didn't have any potatoes of my own and i saw these at the feed store yesterday so i have some russets I have Yukon Golds, 
and I have, I can't remember this variety, but they're a purple potato. Their skin is kind of this purple. If I were to wash it up, it'd be purple. Um, so I've got a little bit of a variety and those are gonna go over in the far bed with our cabbage and radishes. I'm part of a Facebook gardening group, which is just really handy because as I was questioning, you know, is it too late to plant peas? Is it too late to plant carrots? I noticed people in that group asking the same kinds of questions. And so I just kind of had fun reading through the comments and seeing what people had to say based on their own experience. And, you know, of course in our area, and that's important that we're all in the same relative area. And for the most part, people were like, go for it. <laughs> so I thought, hey, I'm gonna try it. The worst thing that can happen is I'm down a seed packet. If they don't go, I'll plant something else there. But to me, gardening is about learning and experimenting and just having fun. So I'm gonna go for it. All right, I almost forgot about our onions. Those go here in our salsa garden. And for onions, I got, of course, some Walla Walla onions and some late white onions. And Walla Walla, I actually grew up in Walla Walla County, about 40 miles away from the town of Walla Walla, and I've never grown these, so I think it's about time. It's gonna be a little funny because I'm gonna have some blank spaces for a while until I get the rest of my warmer season uh, plants in place. Okay, so here's a close-up view of the potatoes. So, that right there, you can see the eye. That one has one, two. Um, so I'll face that eye up in my trench. And I'm not gonna bother planting any, like this one, I don't think I'll plant that one just because I only have so much room. So like if they've got a really good eye on them, those are the ones I'm going to plant. You can see my, my Yukon Golds, those are, those are ready. We've got three rows of potato, Yukon Gold, the purple potato, again, I'm not sure what it is exactly other than it is purple, and russet. So those are in there. And now I'm going to seed some cabbage right here. All right, for our cabbage, we are planting them a quarter inch deep, 12 inches apart. So right next to our potatoes, that's where I'm gonna put them. bed is finished for now. Later on I'm going to plant cucumbers along that other opposite edge that will hopefully trellis over. It's hard to believe 
anything's really happening. <laughs> Okay, I'm on to the next bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start planting my lettuces about 10 inches apart or so, probably a little less. Um, and then along this side, I'm going to plant my peas. And those are planted at about one inch deep and spaced about four inches apart. It's already so fun to look and see green in the garden. This little guy right here looks like a little bit of a struggle, but I'm gonna give him a chance. And you will notice that I have definitely planted things a little close together. I may need to move some things, but for now I'm just kind of going for it. All right, on to the salsa garden, and you can see that I have onions, a row of onions here. And these guys, I need to separate all of these little ones out into individual onions. So it looks like, you know, I have just a couple, but really this is like 20, 30 onions right here. So I'm not gonna use all of them but we'll just see. So I'm gonna start separating those and getting them in the ground.
Okay, I got everything planted according to my little diagram. I did go ahead and plant my two strawberry plants, making sure to keep the crown above the soil level. And you can see I kind of pushed back some extra soil so it didn't crowd the strawberries. So everything is looking very good. It's so funny to see these little wispy onions. They look very puny very <laughs> like they could just disappear but there they are i do have some extras here look how many extra i have so i do have a little patch of dirt that i was dirt soil um that i was planning to use for pumpkins so i'm kind of debating i might give these away i might plant a few over there we shall see leave everything a nice good watering here's our lettuce bed of course, we've got our radish seeds right in here, and those are fun because they're very, uh, they're a very quick crop. I love radishes in like tacos, so I'm looking forward to that. And then this bed, very exciting. <laughs> Can't tell anything's in there. I have my labels all done in this bed. I do need to go through and finish up my labels for the other bed, which I think I'm gonna do over in the shade just kind of enjoy that process but so far everything's looking very good i did crowd things a bit and you know last year i had only two beds and i remember saying to myself that i had a lot of wasted space so this year i feel like i might be overcompensating and now i'm cramming everything in that's okay i'd rather do that and move things around give things away if i need to um, but for now, I'm happy just kind of populating the garden beds. It's just so fun to see green living things out in these garden beds. No more empty, barren garden. I really love gardening. I feel like it's such a great learning experience. You can experiment, you can have fun, trial and error. And of course, the anticipation of watching things grow, taking care of them, and then hopefully having them produce how you want them to at the end of the season. It's just very exciting. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.